And breaking now, a judge throwing the book at Marco Perez in a federal case connected to the killing of Mobile police officer Sean Tudor. Our investigative reporter Brendan Kirby is live at the federal courthouse where the sentencing happened. Brendan Perez getting the maximum here. Yeah, that's right, Lenise. The 22-year-old will do 25 years in federal prison on a pair of gun charges. Those charges involving the same gun that was used to kill Officer Tudor back in 2019. And the defendant has even more time potentially hanging over his head in state court. The judge couldn't impose life in prison. That's because the jury in October acquitted Perez of the most serious charges, using a firearm during a violent crime and killing a witness in a federal case. That witness was Officer Sean Tudor, who was trying to arrest Perez in the parking lot of the Peach Place apartment. But the defense successfully argued that Perez didn't know Officer Tudor, who was in plain clothes, was a police officer. Prosecutors argued for the max on the two offenses the jury did find Perez guilty of. That's five years for receiving a firearm while under indictment and 10 years for possession of a stolen firearm. Plus, Chief U.S. District Judge Jeffrey Beaverstock imposed a 10-year enhancement on Perez for committing a crime while he was on release for a different federal gun charge. That all adds up to 25 years and the judge ordered Perez to serve the sentences one on top of another. The judge made clear he intends that to be in addition to, not at the same time as, any sentence Perez gets in state court. Interim U.S. Attorney Sean Costello praised the judge's sentence. I think the judge understood really what this case was about, and uh, at the end of the day, I think justice was done uh, for Mr. Perez and for Officer Tudor. Defense attorney John Beck argued that the sentences should be served at the same time. Although the jury found Perez guilty of two separate gun charges, Beck argued that they were really the same offense because it was the same gun for both counts. Beck says he believes his client has some good issues for appeal and he notes the outcome could have been worse for his client. Uh, Mr. Perez was acquitted by a jury on the most two, two serious counts, uh, which would have given him a life sentence without the possibility of parole. And I think that that, that, that finding by a jury is going to have a big impact over in state court also. Inside the courtroom, Officer Tudor's mother called her son her miracle child because doctors previously had told her she couldn't conceive. Her cousin told the judge, quote, I no longer have my right-hand man, and my family will never be the same. Marco Perez's legal problems are far from over. He's scheduled to go on trial next month in state court over an alleged assault at Mobile County Metro Jail. And then in August, he has a capital murder trial set in the shooting death of Officer Tudor. Prosecutors have said they intend to seek the death penalty. Reporting live outside the federal courthouse, Brendan Kirby, Fox 10 News.